Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this path blur effect. I've seen this a lot on the internet so I thought about sharing this in a video and I want to show you how to make this in Photoshop. First you start with a stock photo. I'm going to resize this so it's actually smaller in size. I kind of want to put this on Instagram so I'm going to use those dimensions. Then I'm going to crop this photo. Then you see this white stripe, I'm going to erase that using the fill content aware tool so that we actually have like a clean photo. Then what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to convert this into a smart object after I've created a copy. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go to filter, blur gallery and path blur. So this is really where the magic happens. Now I'm going to create my own path using this pin. You can basically add different points that you can then change. And this is really something that is going to create that effect. Now you can really create the shape that you want. You can really play with the blur direction with the points. And then you can also make adjustments after that. You can also change the speed to whatever you desire and you have different settings. You can play with the taper. You can also make this centered blur or not. And then you also have a few motion effects. You can play with the strobe strength. And then you can also go and add noise within this effect. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this noise setting um, because I like to create grain in a different way. I'm going to show that later in the video. Now, going back to the photo, what's really going to make this interesting is adding a gradient map on top of this. I have a couple of presets already downloaded on my computer. I'm just going to walk through this them and see which one looks the best. I feel like this red really pops, especially with the photo, but now you can see that it kind of distorted the face of the model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a mask and I'm really going to erase that effect on the top of his face right now you can see that the problem with the grain is occurring because the grain was erased when i placed that mask so i'm just going to disable this grain and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create that grain through a different technique now there are multiple ways to use this my favorite one is definitely creating 50 percent gray new layer and then going to camera roll um Okay. For some reason, Photoshop is not letting me use the camera raw filter now. Uh, probably I need to reset it. I'm just going to explain briefly what I was doing. I was using the camera raw filter to actually use the grain there. Now I'm going to use the other technique, which is going to filter and then adding noise from here. Make sure you also check the monochromatic one and make it linear light. I'm really just going to add some text at the top to make this graphic more interesting. Make sure you also have these settings selected to achieve this exact look. Now I'm also thinking about adding something at the bottom. I'm going to use this typeface, which I think is really cool and it's just going pretty well with the overall effect that I'm trying to achieve for this graphic. Now I'm really going to try to play with the letters. I'm just going to try to find that perfect look, that perfect layout for the text. You can really play with the kerneling, with the space, everything, you know, you can just really mess with with the letters i really love this font and i think it's giving me a lot of flexibility in creating this graphic all right i'm pretty happy with how it turned out i'm um, just really checking to see if there's anything that i could add one thing you can basically go back to the blurry gallery and you can just adjust the speed really if you want to go and push this effect further you can just mess with the speed but i think it's too much so i'm really going to go back maybe trying to find like something better like a 200 i think this is good so yeah just be creative and do your own thing pretty happy with how it turned out and if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out if you would like for me to send you this project you can send me a dm you can write this word evasive dm me with this word evasive and i'm going to send you the project file and yeah until next time guys make sure you like this video you subscribe and stay tuned for more